people. Welcome to our first in-house vlog thingy. <laughs> I'm Piper. I'm this Brian. Is... Yeah, he's mine. He's my baby. So today we're going to be trying out weird-ish slash just regular food that I found at an Asian food market that my dad took me to today and another local store here in St. Louis and some of the stuff I've tried and he hasn't but there's some stuff we both haven't tried so it should be fun. I'll show you all the stuff and yeah we'll just see if we like it or not and recommend it to you guys because some of the stuff you probably find online or whatever probably. So here's first couple of items we've got. Now these ones I've been snacking on, but Brian hasn't tried them, so I'm gonna have him try them. So they have sour cream and onion and barbecue chips, but they're made from vegetables. So it's got like potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots, pumpkin, broccoli, all that stuff. But they're flavored sour cream and onion and barbecue. So he's gonna be trying these because I like them, but not right now. I gotta pull everything out first. Okay. There's a process. <laughs> We have those, and then something we're both gonna be trying is I found these. They are strawberry fig Newton type bars, and I've normally just always eaten the fig flavored, so it's be interesting to see if the strawberry is any good. Yeah, and then I've also been snacking on these, so Brian's gonna try these. They're Sunkiss fruit gummies. I'll tell you my opinion about them when you eat them, but obviously I'm still eating them, so I guess it's somewhat good. We got a lot of stuff, so hope you all are comfy in your chairs watching. Another thing I found was this chocolate, I guess they're graham crackers. There's like 10 single packs in here, but they sold them at the Asian store, so I guess they're like Asian graham crackers. Or I guess, I don't know. We're gonna find out and see, but they're chocolate, so that's be good, right? Yes. Maybe. Uh, so something my dad found, we're probably gonna try a little bit of this, I think my dad won't eat most of it, is a roasted vegan jerky now like nobody in my family is vegan but we were just kind of curious and it says it's i guess it's made from soy beans and it's black pepper soup. so i guess this will be interesting to see if this will actually taste like beef or not It'll be interesting for us another thing my dad found are these peanut butter ball like cookies but they're in like the shape of peanuts so i'm not exactly sure how they made them but this is a peanut butter ball cookies, so. Yeah. Sounds good. It was very good. And this is one that I've had. This is actually one of my favorite uh, Asian, I don't know, it's really Asian, but foreign type sodas, and I got one for you to try. And it's called Squirt. Normally, it's a grapefruit one, so it's a grapefruit type soda. So, yeah, I like them. I think they're. Really good. This one might be like lime flavor because well, there's a lime on there, but I think it's like grapefruit and lime. But mm -hmm. anyway, it's squirt and I think it's really good. So Brian will be trying this one. And then while well, I was also at the Asian store, they had different flavors of Kit Kats. And Kit Kats are one of my favorite chocolate bars. So we had to get different flavors. So we have mint ones, but they're not green, they're still regular chocolate. So we have mint. We have strawberry, and then this one's kind of regular, it's just dark chocolate. So, those hopefully are going to be delicious because Kit Kats are delicious. So we also have this bag of strawberry, just kind of party wafers. Yeah, this I think this brand's kind of known locally because I've seen it in a couple of different stores, but I've never tried these. Since they're made in Italy, so that should be good. Yeah, and a lot of stuff strawberry or chocolate flavor because I think those are one of the two best flavors out there for chocolate stuff and strawberries. So that's why everything's on the strawberry and chocolate. And then stuff that, uh, oh, so much that. Stuff that I'm gonna want to have Brian try because this is one of my favorite brands of potato chips. And if you live out east around the East Coast, you'll recognize this brand. It's called Wise Potato Chips. I think they're better than Lay's, but that's just me. But I'm gonna have them try one of each brand. We've got onion and garlic flavored. 
we have the, of course, salt and vinegar flavor. And then we've got Brian's favorite flavor of any chip in the world, barbecue. Yes. And it feels like a motor scene, but <laughs> he's generally not too picky. And then coming up on our final bag, we have garlic and vinegar flavored pork rinds. I don't know if you've ever eaten pork rinds. I love pork rinds. We're gonna see how this flavor is. Okay. And if we love it, they had, had vinegar, they had regular, so we've got more mm -hmm. flavors. And I honestly have no idea what this is. It just says Lot 100. Strawberry gummies, these are at that Asian store, so. It says strawberry gummies, I picked it up because I figured it would be good because, you know, they're gummies. Final two products we have. These are kind of well known. I've seen them a couple of different stores, but they're called Pocky. So they're basically like, this one is chocolate covered breadsticks and this one is strawberry cream covered biscuit, breadstick, whatever you want to call them. Thanks. I tried the chocolate ones and they're really good. He has not, I don't think. And I've never tried the strawberry ones, so yeah. But the chocolate one's really good. So I mean, strawberry has to be a really good thing, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. So, and we're not going to try these, but I just wanted to show you guys that these are the biggest freaking apples in the entire world. <laughs> these are at that Asian market, and I swear these apples are like, like almost bigger than my hand. Like that's, that's one, that's one apple. And I wish I had an apple to compare it to, but you, you get how big this is. This is a big apple. <laughs> Just wanted to point out. So if you want really big apples, go to a seafood market or an Asian foods place and they got giant freaking apples. So I got the, whatever kind this is, I should know, but I don't. I got the red kind and I got the Granny Smith because Granny Smith is the best apple flavor in the world. Yeah. Yep. But we're not gonna be eating those. We're just, I just wanted to show that to you guys but yeah I'm just gonna kind of put everything back on the floor and pick something random well I'm really wanting to know we're going to try the mint Kit Kat yeah on the side of the there you get two it smells minty Look at how, look at how much air bag the waste is. <laughs> so when you take them out, they're these little cute two pack things. They kind of already really smell minty. Uh -huh. But the cool thing about this is that there's no like food coloring in this, so it's like natural mint. It's not like that crappy preservative mint stuff. Can't get this open too. I can't open anything. Nice. <laughs> oh, they're so cute, so they're like the little no mini Kit Kats. Now you eat the Kit Kat in the rat way. Okay. They smell really minty. They smell really good. Yeah, they do. They smell so good. Okay. Oh. These are really good. Our green on the inside. I don't know if you can see that, but they're green. Oh, these are so good. That is pretty good. I'm going to eat this whole bag. I mean, it's so fat. <laughs> so. Mint Kit Kats. Really good. Yep. Just so y'all know. I'm gonna eat this whole bag. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. That'd be good. Now we're gonna have Brian try the sour cream and onion garden vegetable chips. And these ones are made with potato, spinach, broccoli, and peas. So they're gonna be this green color. What out of here. It's like there's this, they're this green potato chip color. They smell, smell. Smell like potato chip. Mm. So silent. He hates it. It's horrible. No, that's pretty good. I know, because I've been in like the whole can. Can you even I... tell that it's got broccoli or peas or anything in it? Mm -mm. Nope. What do you taste? I taste the, what's that, the sweet, it's that, the, sour cream and onion. Yeah, sour cream and <laughs> onion. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. It tastes exactly like sour cream and onion. Can't tell it's veggie. All right. 
I think it's about mm. the same company that makes like those veggie straws. So you, you know, if you like that too, it's good. Also, they're gluten free. So I mean, mm -hmm. if you're on no gluten thing, perfect for you. They're great. I don't remember how much it costs because I didn't buy this, but they probably aren't that expensive in the grocery stores. So, but yeah, those are really good. I'll probably eat all those later. Uh, no, those are not. <laughs> My dad already ate the other. He ate all the salt and vinegar. So we're going to have him try the Wise onion and garlic potato chips. That is how much of the bag is actually chipped. <laughs> yeah. and that's why the serving size is one package. A little bit of a waste. So these are just regular fucking potato chips. That's what like. Smell it. Let's smell it. Smells like uh, potato chips. Oh, good job. <laughs> Yeah. Go ahead, munch it. Munch it. What do you think? That's really good. You like it? Mm, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Three second rule. <laughs> yeah, I like that. It's really good. I'll probably eat all those later, too. Now we're going to try this vegan jerky. I'm very, very curious. This is gonna taste like crap, or this is actually gonna taste really good because it's made from soy. Yeah, it's also made in Taiwan, so if that matters to you. Oh, that was easy to open. Why can't they all be like that? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It smells funny. It doesn't really smell like jerky. What does that smell like if you have to describe that? I don't know. See, half the time if this smells horrible, it's gonna taste horrible. I'm like, I'm gonna get a small <laughs> piece. My dad picked these out, so if we don't like them, he can just eat them. So. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can rip a piece off. That's a big piece. Stop, stop, stop ripping. Oh, okay. Here, you can get the bigger piece. Huh, thanks. Oh, it just <clears throat> It doesn't really smell like jerky. Yeah, but it is made from soybean, so. Yeah. Well, I'm so scared. <laughs> oh. <coughs> I don't like that. At first, it kind of did taste like it was going to be good. But yeah. The first bite kind of had this kind of little bit of like a beef flavor to it. Yeah. Uh, but the soybean just doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, this is a little weird. Oh, that tastes gonna be in my mouth now. <laughs> I, just, I, I had to spit that out. I couldn't, that was just... Okay, Daddy, you can eat those. I can finish it, but... No. I'm, that, I'm not gonna finish the bag, I finish this bite. Yeah. I just, but, I... My stomach just got... No. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's weird. Like I said, everybody's taste buds are different. You and my body's trying to find out you like them. We don't like them. I prefer this to my regular beef jerky. Yeah, me too. But if you're a vegan and you want an alternative and you don't mind soybeans, this might be good for you. What we, 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 sh what we should do is we should go to a store, pick out the randomest stuff that doesn't even sound good and buy it. Next video. Subscribe. If we can get a crap ton of likes on this, we'll go to a store and pick out the weirdest food that we see, buy it and try it. Exclusion of my food allergy. Yeah. But anything I can eat, we'll buy it, we'll try it, we'll make a video, and you can watch us bark on YouTube mm -hmm. or something. You know, we but yeah, that'll be fun because we have, I've seen some pretty weird things in stores around here. That like, I mean, even I, when I work at my job, we get random stuff and it looks crappy and horrible. So mm -hmm. if you want us to do that and embarrass ourselves, you like this video, comment down below and share this with everybody that you love and people that you don't love as well. So, this next item we're gonna try these strawberry picket bars. I love picket and I feel like these are gonna taste really good because they're strawberry. Oh gosh, these are big. Like, that's a big Newton. They smell normal, like regular fig Newtons, they smell yeah, they strawberry. Do. 
if these are horrible, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Here we go. I do too. The strawberry actually tastes like you're eating a strawberry and not like it's that preservative grape. But normally when it's fake strawberry, like you can tell. Mm -hmm. But this one tastes like you're eating a strawberry covered in the bread thingy, wherever this is wrapped in. But it's actually pretty good. That's good. Well, I think they're really good. I don't know if the Fig Newton brand strawberry ones taste the same, but these are Daddy Ray's brand, which is probably not very popular, but I like it pretty good. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, good. Not, most of the time when I buy strawberry flavored stuff, it tastes pretty good. I've had very few strawberry things that I bought that tasted like crap. So, all right. I'm gonna try these peanut butter ball cookies. They sound good, so we'll see. Also from Vietnam. I feel like it's literally just peanuts covered in peanut butter. Probably what it is. Because <clears throat> that would literally make the only sense why it'd be peanut butter ball cookies. Smell like peanuts. Yeah, it does smell like peanuts. So they're just a peanut. Pretty much, just peanut. <laughs> This has got wheat flour on it. So I think there's like a light coating of like floury peanut butter stuff. As it says, it's wheat flour and coconut milk. Oil. So I feel like they had a light coating on something, but it literally just tastes like you're eating a peanut. Mm -hmm. Which is, my dad will love this. He loves peanuts. But I could tell there was good. like some sort of coating on it. They're still good. Like I, like I love peanuts. I just thought it would like have a more peanut buttery taste on it. Mm. Yeah. Not bad. I don't know if I eat them all the time, but I feel like if I was one to peanut, I'd eat it. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to do another wise potato chip. Maybe there's salt and vinegar. Yeah. But, yeah. If you are ever on the East Coast and you go to any gas station or store thing, get some wise potato chips. Because they have more flavors than what we got. This is just what the store we are at had. Because they just have like a regular flavor, but they didn't have that one. I feel like this one's more full than that one was. This one is way more full than this. So this is one civic size. Smell it, make sure it's decent. Yep. And yep. eat it. Smells good. What do you think? It's really good. I feel like this brand compared to like Pringles and a salt and vinegar brand. You get the potato flavors first and then you get the salt, rather than other stuff you eat it and it's instant salt and vinegar. Which is kind of nice. Yeah. yeah. That was good. The strawberry Kit Kats. Now, this is going to kind of give me a prequel on what I'm going to get later this year because my oldest sister and her husband are going to Japan in a couple of months. And there's a giant Kit Kat store place out there with a bunch of different flavors. So, we already tried the strawberry and the mint, but they have other flavors that these ones all, but they mostly have just strawberry, mint, and like dark chocolate. I think something else I didn't like, but. So, if these are really good, then I'll know when they bring some home in a couple of months that they're gonna be good. I'm open. Ooh, these smell like really good. These smell like that strawberry scent. Mm -hmm. These are all saying, keep my pancakes. Uh, I wonder if the Kit Kats must be pink. They show them pink on the bag. Which is <gasps> oh my gosh, they are pink. They're the best thing ever. They smell like like strawberry ice cream. So like the Kit Kats are pink. They smell so good. Oh my gosh, you're so soft. <laughs> Get out of the bag. Not bad. Not bad. I feel like I like the mint better. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But I feel like there's chunks of strawberry in here. So I guess it kind of tastes like you're eating like a strawberry covered wafer. 
which is kind of what this is. I'm okay. I guess I had high expectations. But I do like the mint ones better. Me too. These aren't bad. But you know. Oh, that, well, that was really sweet though. Now I'm gonna have him try the other can of veggie chips. And these ones are barbecue flavored, but these ones are made with potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots, and pumpkin. And this is also gluten free. But, and these ones are kind of a orangey-ish brown color. It's kind of up there, but kind of smell it. Smells like barbecue. Barbecue chip. What do you think? Pretty good. I think it tastes like a regular barbecue chip. It does, yeah. Can't really tell it's a veggie chip. <laughs> it's pretty That's good. just proof. You don't always have to buy the Pringles or the Lay's flavor to still get a good flavor chip. And you can be healthy because it's made from veggies. You didn't notice the taste difference at all. It just tasted like a barbecue chip. Yep. No idea. Look at Lily feed these to your kids. And they wouldn't notice the taste difference. They're healthier. They might be a little bit more expensive. But they're still healthier. Yeah, and I think what helps with the taste is that they're still made with potatoes. So they keep still that potato flavor. But they add the vegetables to it. So you're getting healthy, but then again, you're not losing like the potato flavor that you're used to in a chip. Mm -hmm. So, and you know those Sunkiss gummies? They have blackberry, strawberry, blue raspberry, and cherry flavored. I honestly thought they would taste better than they do, but like I'll still eat them. I think first try I wasn't like super into them, but now I like them more than I did. I'm gonna give you one of each flavor because I feel like the flavor might make a difference. Here's all four flavors. So there's proof he's eating all four flavors. So we're gonna start with the blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. It doesn't taste like blue raspberry at all. A little bit. That was pretty good. There's a, a grape, grape, blackberry, sorry, oh, blackberry. blackberry. It looks like grapes. Don't listen to me out on anything. Huh. Did it taste like blackberry? A little bit. Yeah, like you said, it's not super great, but it's, it's not bad. Like, I feel like any other regular store brand of gummies would have been fine. These ones, they're just selling at my work, and I figured I would try them. But I also thought they were gonna taste better than they did. Mm -hmm. Like I had really for the uh, for the amount of money, these were four ninety nine. For the amount of money I paid for them, I figured they would taste better. So I was a little kind of a little disappointed in that. But obviously I'm not gonna return it because I opened it. Like they're just gonna throw it away. Like I'm just gonna eat them. Just, you know. How did the strawberry one taste? I think it was the best one. Did it taste like strawberry? Yeah. I'm just gonna grab it. Does it taste like cherry? Mm-hmm, yeah. So how would you rate these compared to other like fruit snacks? Do you like them more? Do you I like them more? Um, like the wal like Welch's? I'm gonna compare like um, Welch's or Mott's. Yeah, like Welch's I think are better than that. This one says it may contain traces of gluten. If you have gluten allergy, don't eat these. Yeah. What do you think? They're, they're pretty good. Um, about the best though. So, we're gonna do another, our last bag of the Wise Potato Chips. And I think you can easily order these like online on Amazon, eBay, or whatever, and get bags if you really want some. But we just found a dollar bag at the store. But yeah, you can probably easily just find these online if you wanna try some. They're probably not that expensive. If they are, I'm sorry, I don't know anything. But yeah, these are the barbecue flavored ones. So. This will be the ultimate. I got these especially for him because I know how much he likes barbecue. I do. He likes to blame me. No. Good answer. <laughs> Did you get anything else? 
<laughs> they only thought the salt and vinegar one was really full. The other ones are like, no, you don't get to have as much. That is barbecue. This looks like a regular barbecue potato chip. There you go, babe. What? No, this one's this one you can see the potato skin. Oh, you probably can't see it at all because the potato skin on it. What do you think? That was good. I know I just got some sort of flavoring, like with the barbecue. Yeah. Not sure what it is, but it's pretty good. I think the onion one was the best. And the salt and vinegar. I wasn't a huge fan. Here, you can taste it. Those you can take home with you. <laughs> okay. I will not um, super big fan of them, but you can take those home with you. Um, let's go ahead and do these dark chocolate Kit Kats. They should be pretty in the sink. You know, it should taste like a really dark chocolate Kit Kat. But I've never had dark chocolate Kit Kat. I know you're not super into dark chocolate, but you should still try it anyway. Oh. They're also wrapped QT in the two pack. Yep, like the others. They smell like regular dark chocolate, so I feel like this one's gonna taste okay. <laughs> Mine has a nigga bubble in the back. <laughs> Anywho. All right. Tastes like a regular Kit Kat with dark chocolate. I like these ones, I'll keep these ones. Okay. What do you think? Pretty good. For instance, someone who's not a fan of dark chocolate, um, do you still like it? Yeah. Okay. I'm keeping those ones in the mint ones. You couldn't have the sweet strawberry ones. Okay. I just had expectations and it just, no. So. It does, yeah. This one doesn't really taste too, too uh, dark chocolatey, so it's pretty good. That's nice. I'm curious about these. These lot 100 strawberry gummies. So far. Most of our strawberry stuff's been pretty good, besides like the strawberry Kit Kat. So, this one I'm just gonna open with the tweezers because I don't wanna have to try to figure that out. Too much work. And these are all like individually wrapped. Like, you got a cute little packet. I think there's one in here. Ooh, they're really squishy. That's good. I was afraid they're gonna be hard. And. They look like, in the picture, they almost kind of look like flattened, like, dots candy. Like that candy dots, it looks like it's like squished. Yeah. But dots are also harder. Is that what they look like? That's what it looks like. <laughs> so, compared to the picture, they are said bigger than what I thought they were gonna be. They are still squishy. They smell fantastic. Yeah, they do. All right, here we go. And I'm just gonna check with all of them. <laughs> I like these. These are good. They're good. Yep. It says they don't look anything like the picture. But these are good. These taste better than those. Mm. I like these. So, if you're curious, they're lot 100 strawberry gummies. Production date. It's in Chinese. I can't read that. <laughs> but yeah. And if you ever have any ideas, guys, of weird foreign shenanigans you want us to try, let us know and we'll look it up and see if we can find it somewhere and try. Because I'm generally picky, but this guy's not too picky. But I'll try it, maybe. It gets like a bite. I'm not trying that soybean beef jerky again, I'll tell you that right now. That is not happening. We're coming down to it, guys. We're gonna try these clams. I think we're just gonna do one package of these two because I'm getting full. Oh, there's three in here. They wanted to be cool. So instead of putting in two, they put in three in Talk to us. You can write them a letter. Though they also have their tele toll free telephone lines. So if we think this is absolutely horrible, we can call and complain. There's a little package of these. There's three in there. And these are just called Graham Chocolates. I don't know if there's an actual brand. I think it's M Y San, S A N. They had a bunch of different flavors of these. They had one that was like a chocolate and strawberry one, like together, then that strawberry one. 
But I just wanted to do chocolate. But we can easily, well, not we, but my dad can just take it back to the store. So if there's more stuff there I find that we can try, we can do that. I don't know if you guys got a little like white speckles on it. Okay, I'm just gonna take a nibble because I don't know. I kind of see it smells like graham cracker. Oh, I like these. Here we go. That's I like good. these. Yeah. These just taste like a regular chocolate graham cracker. These are good. Most of this stuff was $3 or under at the Asian food market. So, it wasn't too much. I didn't like the beef jerky. It was like, it was a fake beef jerky. It was like the most expensive thing. But everything I got was around 3 to $1 ish. So it wasn't that much money for some of this, so. Then the stuff we got at the other stores called Globe Markets, most of it was like a dollar. Then we spent like 18 bucks there, so it wasn't even that much. I try these Pockies. Strawberry cream. I'm gonna see how this goes. Oh look, this one tells you how to open it. Maybe I don't want to open it that way. You open it different. How do you know how to open the package? Oh, it's in a little box. Oh, they got this little package. There's like four of them in here or something. We'll just split a package. Wait. Trying to get this open. This isn't working. I'm not very good at opening things. We've learned this today. What? That's it. So the skizzers. There's like five, and I think one is broken. It smells good, but it smells like the Kit Kat. So like, <laughs> but they're like these little and like from here up is covered in like a strawberry coating. It kind of looks like one of those uh, pumps you use to light fireworks. It's a sparkler. <laughs> or a sparkler too, yeah. Ooh, it tastes good. Okay. I like these. Yeah. Mmm, wait. No, I don't like these. <laughs> First bite was good. Second bite tasted like warm yogurt. Mm. I don't like these here. <laughs> no. I had other flavors of these ones too, but first bite was fine, but the rest of it tastes like warm strawberry yogurt. And I don't fly that way. I thought it was all right. Now I'm going to try the garlic and vinegar flavored pork rind. Which, if you don't know what pork rind is, basically pig skin fried. I know it probably sounds really weird, but these are really good. My dad uses them for like bread, like of pork chops in them. So we have pork chops with pork rinds on them. That's really good. But bash at me all you want, blah, 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 blah. I love pigs with all my heart, but at the same time, I like to eat pigs. But I also love pigs. I, yeah. These are really big pigs. Like, he's giant. Mm. Just try to split one. Just gonna try this. I can't break it. Okay, you know what? You're just gonna have to, like, bite this in. Alright. <laughs> bite it, bite it, bite it. Mm. <laughs> I almost had a hard time there. Oh, God. Ow. That's alright. I like those. I've only had the original flavor, so I'm used to that, but I'm not opposed to these. Yeah. I don't think they had an original flavor. They just had like, they had garlic and vinegar, they had vinegar, I think like a spicy one. Huh. I got a cut <laughs> These ones I feel like are harder to chew. Yeah. And the ones I tried. Wait, they make pork rinds and all sorts of flavors. Oh, these ones are a lot harder to bite down on. Mm -hmm. Than like regular ones I've tried. Apparently this is a Filipino flavor. So if you're from the Philippines, cool. Let us know if there's other flavors or anything here. Let's try. I'll take some bites, you take some bites. <laughs> now he's gonna try the chocolate pockies because I've already tried these and I thought they was pretty good. But 
These are also just, you know, wrapped individual chocolate. So I'll just give you the ones. These ones are, I feel like the sticks on these are a little bit thicker, but yeah, you see how much of it, you probably can't see anything, but you can probably see how much of it is like covered in the chocolate. Yeah, quite a bit. There you go, that's for you. Thanks. Yeah, I definitely like these ones better than the Me too. So we're down to our last item besides the soda. If we can get it open tonight, we'll film a video later and add it on to the end if I'm trying to sell it. Our last one is going to be these, I guess, Gaston Lego, Lago brand party strawberry wafers. A delicious bite at your fingertips. One is never enough. These are also made in Italy. 74% cream filling, no artificial flavors, no hydrogenated fats, and no artificial colors. I like these little like wafer squares. There you go. Thank you. I'm, I'm almost scared that it's going to taste horrible. Okay, here we go. Oh, these are good. I do like that. Yeah. It's really good. Very good. It tastes like the regular like dollar ninety nine wafers that you get at like Walmart or something. Yep. But it doesn't have all those preservatives in it. So okay. They're really sweet though, so I probably only have like two. Even though the serving size is seven pieces, but I feel like a lot of the strawberry stuff has had like an excess amount of sweet and sugar in them. Yeah. Because some stuff like I don't remember it being that sweet. So we had about sixteen items and then 17 we got the soda so it's quite a bit of stuff but yeah if you want us to do anything like this in the future just let us know or if you just want us to try you know national brands versus store brand of like foods i've done that before we can let you know which is better but yeah got it. boom car keys work to get off the lid look at that it's got that off car keys. Oh, it's fizzing now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've, I've seen these at a gas station. Yeah. I've never, I don't think I've had squirt though. Hey, yeah, that's really good. Mm -hmm. This tastes like Sprite. Well, the cool thing about this is, is that um, there's no, I don't think there's no high fructose corn soup in this because, you know, yeah, people who don't live in America know how to make soda that I have just worked with it. Yeah, what would you say was your favorite item out of everything that we tried? Out of everything that we tried? That you would recommend for them to try? Um, oh man. <laughs> I really. So much to pick from. Uh, these these uh, veggie chips are up there. I think these will probably be your favorite? Probably. Even though, even though they say veggie chips are really good, they don't really taste like veggies. Yeah, when when my dad first bought these, I was scared of Mike. I'm like, this one says it's got broccoli and spinach, but then I tried. I was like, it tastes like a regular potato chip. You know? It's just the color's different. Yeah. Um, for me, I think it would have to be the uh, the mint Kit Kats. I think they were really really good. What was the one that you had high expectations for, but I just ended up tasting really bad? That you thought some things were really good. Um, let's see here. Maybe the the fruit snacks I thought were gonna be a little bit better, but they were just alright. Yeah. I never made a biggest letdown with the strawberry cookies. I really thought they would taste better, but yeah. I. I don't know if it's because, um, I mean, I don't know what's in it because they don't think like Chinese or whatever. I mean, it says it's got strawberry juice in it. So I don't know if it was just, it tasted off or what? Maybe it's because I had a lot of strawberry things. Maybe they all just blend together. But I wasn't, I just thought they would taste better. Like I got really excited when I saw these ones kind of let down. But yeah, this was the 16 items we had to try. Yeah, let us know if there's anything else you'd want us to do. Go ahead and leave a like, share, subscribe. Also, go ahead and subscribe to our other channels. 
We'll try to link those down below. I have my own YouTube channel where I just kind of post whatever and like famous gray videos. So if you're into that, that's on my channel. I already have like a thousand subscribers. So yeah, if you want to go subscribe to that. And then he's got like what? You got like two channels? I have two other channels. He has two other channels. Yeah. He does a lot of film videos stuff. So if you're into that, he'll link those down below too and you can go check that out and subscribe to those. Yep. I haven't posted on mine in a while because I've been really busy with stuff, but I'm working on another Famous Grey video right now. So hopefully I can get that posted soon. That's about it. And yes, you probably are wondering, yes, I am in my pajamas because it's nighttime and I'm wearing pajamas. And he just got off work, so that's why he's not in pajamas. But yes, you're probably all wondering, when are you going to be doing? Because it's before bedtime and I just put my pajamas on. Because if I like it. And yes, they are Olaf pajamas too. So, yeah. But that's all for today's video. We will be posting something probably soon after this. Yeah. We don't, we don't have exact posting dates listed yet. But hopefully we'll have another adventure for you guys soon. But yeah, everybody have a great day, a great week. Happy 2020. Have an awesome year. Don't do anything stupid. And uh, save the animals. Yes. Bye. Bye.